welcome back to my youtube channel today we will learn what is prefetch related and when to use this prefetch related for optimizing your queries in django we use select related and prefetch related in order to optimize your queries and it is extremely important for all the applications now if you don't know what is select related and how to use it please check this video on the i button and uh, you will understand everything about uh, select related all right the select related only works for foreign key relationship or one-to-one -one relationship n plus one problem can also occur in many to many relationships but select related cannot handle many to many relationship it only works with the uh, one to one relationship that's where prefetch related comes in there are two scenarios where you can use a prefetch related to optimize your queries one for reverse foreign key lookup and another for many to many relationships before i start let me show you my project setup real quick so i have a simple django project uh, with the name blocks underscore main and uh, inside here i have a blocks app so in the blocks app i have the you know models.py so in the models.py i have author post and comment model so if you look at this model so in the post model i have title and the author and author is a foreign key for this author model and also i have the comment model so in the comment model i am referring to this post with the foreign key and also i have uh, uh, the text to write the comment for the uh, specific post also in the admin.py i have registered all of the uh, models so that i can see the data in the uh, back end and i have urls.py so in the urls.py i have like uh, uh, one path with the post and this post is going to the urls.py of this blocks app and this is for uh, taking all the posts and i have another pattern which is post with comments which is connecting to the view post with comments all right so this function is currently not doing anything it is just returning the http response check the terminal for result now as i said there's two scenarios where you can use a prefetch related to optimize your queries one for a reverse lookup and another for many to many relationships so first off we'll start with the reverse lookup but you know what before we understand what is reverse lookup we also have to understand what is forward lookup okay so you see our model uh, we have a post model and we have a comment model so we'll take a scenario where we can use the forward lookup so let me just say forward uh, lookup so the scenario can be uh, let's say if we have a comment and uh, by that comment we want to fetch the post so if you look at here we have a comment model and in this comment model we have a post which is a foreign key to the post model so from this comment model we can directly access the post model which is a you know forward lookup so let's say let's access the post uh, from a comment okay let's access the post from a comment so let's say we have a comment so let me just uh, take one comment uh, you can simply take the first uh, comment from the database so i will say comment dot objects dot first and make sure this comment model is imported so this will actually give me the first uh, comment from my uh, database so if i go here and i'll say admin so in the comments you see i have like a uh, comment one comment two comment three comment 100 uh, 10123 okay so this is my first comment which is my you know my comment one uh, so here i'll get the first comment and from this comment i want to take the post title okay so what i'll do is i will simply say uh, print comment dot okay so you see here in the comment object we have a, a post right post is a foreign key and uh, we can just forward here right so uh, using the foreign key we can simply access the title of this post okay so let me simply say comment dot post dot title so this is actually the straightforward lookup okay so simply i will save it and if i go to this url pattern let me just copy that so post with comments is my url pattern and i will say posts forward slash this link okay check the terminal for result and so if you look at my this thing yeah here you can see post title one okay post title one which means uh this comment right so this uh, first comment so this first comment belongs to the post title one okay you see here so this is actually the uh forward lookup 
Now, what is a reverse lookup? So the reverse lookup is the opposite of this forward lookup. And here, if you look at this model, instead of accessing the post from a comment, we will access the comments from a post. That's what is a reverse lookup. Let's take a scenario. Let's say I have a post. So I want to fetch all the comments that belongs to that particular post. So in that case, I have to use the reverse lookup. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, comment it out and then write it here. A reverse lookup. So I'll say instead of accessing uh, the post from comment, we will access comments from post and uh, i will first take one post so i'll say post dot objects dot first uh, let's consider uh, i have one post and i want to fetch all the comments that belongs to this post how can i access it you see i cannot just access something uh, from post to comment right because uh, comment is not not a foreign key in the post model so this is actually a reverse thing so what you have to do is comments is equal to post dot comments dot all post dot comments dot all why i'm using comments here so that's because you see the related name here right you see the related name here right so this is what is uh, giving us a connection between the post and the comment model so that's what i'm calling here okay so comments is equal to this particular post and take all the comments of this post okay so now if you say comments and let's refresh okay let's refresh and it will give you the uh, you know give you all the comments of a first post which is uh, you know what is the first post here so post title right so i think i have this for for post title one i have three comments okay all all of these three comments belongs to uh post title one so this one is also post title one post title one okay so that's why it is showing um where is it yeah uh, it is showing comment uh my comment one my comment two my comment three uh, so that's all the comments of a, a first post so now i hope you understood what is forward lookup and uh what is a reverse lookup let me comment it out now let's come back to our topic uh where to use a uh, prefetch related the prefetch related we can use uh, when we want to display all the post with all its comments so i will write it down display all the posts with its comments so here uh, what i'll do is i'll say posts post is equal to post dot objects dot all okay post dot objects dot all now i'll say for post in posts i'll say print um post let me simply write this a uh, post here post dot title okay so this will print the post dot title and again i'll use another for loop for printing the comments for comment in post dot comments dot all so now this is actually a reverse lookup okay so because uh, you see i have one post right i am taking all the comments of this particular post okay so that's where i'm using same thing like this it's a reverse lookup so now i will print okay i will print a string and say comment so i will say comment dot text okay comment dot text because you see in the comment model i have this text field right so this is what i want to print uh just uh, below each of the post so let's uh, refresh and see if we were able to uh, fetch all the post with its comments let me refresh and go back to the terminal and as you can see i was able to fetch all the post and its comments under uh, each of those posts so in the post title one i have three comments and uh, there is no comments for post title two title three there is no uh, okay there is four comments and uh, there is no comments for post title 4 title 5 so now i was able to fetch all the uh, post with its comments 
now the problem here is when using the reverse lookup n plus one problem is occurring so what i mean by n plus one here our database is getting hit n plus one times n here is the number of post so we have five post in the database and uh, the one query which is the initial query to fetch all the post now in order to see the actual query and uh, you know how many times the database got hit i'm again going to use this uh, connection module from django.db i have already imported it and uh, you see uh, here in the you know previous video i have already returned this okay so using this for query in connection dot queries print query of sql using this you can you know you can print the actual query okay. i'm going to print it here also i am going to print the okay, i'm going to print the total number of uh, queries executed I'll simply use it here okay so total number of uh, queries executed will be length of connection dot queries let's uh, you know let's just uh, refresh and see okay let's refresh and uh, go back to the terminal and uh, you see there's so many queries are uh, being generated so this is the first query so this is to get the you know get all the uh, blog post and to fetch the comments for each uh, post it is uh, you know it is sending different query so that's a n plus one problem uh, you can see here total number of executed query is six one is this query okay this query to fetch all the post and uh, other five are to fetch the comments of each of those post okay so that's one plus five six now imagine if you have like 1000 posts or 10,000, 20,000 posts. So it is going to generate, uh, you know, n plus one times, so you get 20,000 plus one. So that's why in order to solve this problem and optimize your database queries, we use prefetch related. So instead of saying all here, okay, post.objects.all, we will say prefetch related. So the related, you know, related field we want to access here is this comments. You can see here comments okay simply save it and uh, if you refresh and go back and you can see here total number of queries are only two why it is two because you see one is this main query okay so this is how the posts are being fetched and another one is to fetch the comments for each of these posts in just one single query it is giving you all the comments of each of the posts so that's when you want to use a prefetch related in a reverse lookup so as i said we can also use prefetch related uh, when we have the many to many fields okay so currently we don't have any many to many fields here okay let's uh, go back to the models uh, you see this is the author model and uh, post model commit model what i'll do is i'll actually create another model and say tags okay class tag so this tag uh, will be uh, many to many because one post can have multiple tags right so that's why so i'll say class uh, tag models dot model and here uh, i will just say you know uh, tag can have name right so the tag name i will say models dot uh, this can be car field max length is equal to 100 and so this is the tag model and in the post model i'm going to uh, give a reference uh, with the many to many relationships okay so i'll say tags is equal to models dot many to many field okay many to many field so this is because one post can have multiple tags right so that's why so this will be a tag and I'll, I'll also give the related name as equal to tax uh, no not tax it will be posts so this is my model setup now so with this setup i want to display all the post with its tags so before that i just want to save this models.py and also i have to run the make migrations and migration migrate command python manage dot py make migrations make migration and i'll say migrate perfect so um here i'll go and add okay so i just want to register this tag model admin dot site dot register tag 
perfect so i'll go back here and add some tags i'll say django save and add another django python and uh, i'll say java javascript i'll say react so now i have like four or five tags so in the post in the post title one i will add um two or three okay so i i wanted to add the string representation of this model otherwise this will keep showing me of you know tag object tag object so for that reason i will simply go here and i'll just uh, copy this one uh, define str self self dot name is self dot name so now if i refresh okay so i can see django python okay so here i'll add django python and react okay so save so for this uh, post 3 i will add uh, java and javascript save okay so now you see uh, we have some uh, post and for that post we have also also added some uh, tags right so now our requirement is to display all the you know all the post with its tags right so as you know uh, we have the you know we have the many to many relationship between this post and the tag model uh, now what we'll do is we'll uh, you know uh, we'll actually comment this code i'll simply comment this code okay i'll write it again uh, display all the posts with its tags okay with its tags so posts is equal to so it will be same like uh, post dot objects dot all see i am first writing the unoptimized version so if you use this all then this means it is unoptimized for this particular use case because we we are doing reverse lookup right so that's why for post in posts um simply copy this one and uh, again i'll uh, run a for loop for the tags okay for tag in post dot tags dot all so i can now print tag tag dot name okay so let me refresh and go back and here you can see for the post title one we have a tag django python react for the post title three so this is what we have assigned here right but again uh, we have a uh, n plus one problem because it is you know it is hitting the database n plus one times so to get rid of this problem we will simply use prefetch related with the related name tags now if you save it and if you just refresh I'll go back and you can see total number of queries executed two and still we were able to fetch all the post with its uh, tags so that's why prefetch related is very useful and you can use this prefetch related with the uh, reverse lookup also you can use it with the uh, many to many relationships so that's it for this video and if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comments below thanks for watching